in 1995 when I went to the city and made them aware of the hurricane problem based on the history of New York. The media picked it up and called me Dr. Doom. A few years ago, somebody asked me, do they still call you Dr. Doom? I said, no, they're calling me quite often now. The scope of devastation of Sandy surprised even me. And that was simply because the jet stream got involved and the tremendous thermal difference between snow in the Appalachians and a hurricane that was riding the Gulf Stream caused a 1,000 mile tropical monster. Add to that, you have the most built up and populated coastal segment in the United States at risk, and you have people that don't believe it can happen. And until Sandy, they really didn't believe it could happen until we discovered that hurricanes have been hitting the Northeast since 1635. And you can never argue with history, it's there. We must not consider frequency alone in dealing with natural disasters, but also consider the consequences. This is the Big Apple. Anything that happens up here is multiplied in costs and dislocation. The economic aspects of Sandy are not really realized. We got a rat infestation. We got people that lost their jobs. We got companies that went out of business. We have millions of dollars in lost revenue from entertainment and restaurants. We have massive infrastructure costs. If you pull that all together, it is frightening. The mitigation efforts are far less costly than the recovery efforts would be. The fact that we haven't taken zoning seriously was the major factor in the loss of life uh, in these areas that should never, ever have been built on. Recovery is for fixing up the houses that were destroyed. Those houses will be destroyed again. Is this the proper use of that money or should we put it to buying out the houses and getting people out of the hazardous zones? For the next century, you should be at least 500 feet away from the shoreline, preferably more. America needs a strategic approach to the handling of natural disasters. The major proposal, which is in the tens of billions of dollars, is to build a series of gates across New York Harbor. There are far more effective and cheaper things that should be done immediately. We're getting near the limit of our original building in some of the older areas. And unless we raise those structures, we build flood walls, we protect our subways, we protect our tunnels, we're in for a serious business and uh, location. Global warming is a reality. And with global warming comes the melting of our polar ice caps, raising sea level. That means that every storm in the future is going to do progressively more damage. Well, if the ocean is warming, that means that more hurricanes can use that warmth to penetrate up here. It's very clear that we're on a path to disaster unless we realize it and spend the proper efforts and money to protect our people in the future.